Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are Impact Pro Wrestling. We are in Birmingham, Alabama. And we have a great show planned for all of you in attendance and all of you watching at home. Now this is our first match of the evening. Heath Gold advanced to the final round in the King of the Mountain tournament last week, but this week he has just a chance to gain more momentum because tonight he's gonna go one-on-one -on -one with the heartbreaker, Tommy Hart. In our second match of the evening, we will have Eddie Danger attempt to continue his role that he's been on here in Impact Pro Wrestling when he goes one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal one, a.k.a. Peter Young. Moving on to match number three, we will have the Superman, Danny Myers, go one-on-one -on -one in a matchup with the Man of the Hour, a.k.a. Jack Smith. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. The first generation wrestler and the wrestling revolutionists are going to go head to head. This match is to see who will face Heath Gold at King of the Mountain in the finals of the tournament to become your King of the Mountain champion, your first King of the Mountain champion. It will be Trevor Jericho or it will be justice, but we'll find out in our main event of the evening. Now, right now, we're gonna start off with our first match. The Heartbreaker Tommy Hart and the Golden Boy Heath Gold are about to go head to head. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is time for our First matchup of the evening. It will be this man coming down to the ring right now. Allow me to introduce all of you to the golden boy, Heath Gold. Now, uh, let me rewind the clock for all of you for a moment. Heath Gold, Johnny Starr, last week, great one-on-one -on -one matchup. That matchup was to determine who would move on to the next round, who would be the finalist. And of course, the finalist, this man, will be going to King of the Mountain at our next pay-per-view to decide which one of those two men, Heath Gold, and the other man he will be facing, the man we will find out later tonight, Justice or Trevor Jericho, to become the King of the Mountain champion, the first King of the Mountain champion. Heath Gold looking to gain some momentum here, looking for a big show. And he's got a task in front of him as he deals with the heartbreaker, Tommy Hart. You know that Justice is watching this match in preparation for King of the Mountain. And you know Trevor Jericho is doing the same thing. But we're going to find out which one of those two men will actually get to go to King of the Mountain. Justice or Trevor Jericho as they will be our main event of the evening. The wrestling revolutionist and the first generation wrestler. But tonight, right now, it's about Heath and it's about Tommy Hart. That is the golden boy. That is the heartbreaker Tommy Hart and Heath Gold are about to go head to head. Calling an elbow tie up here to start off this one. Heath pushing Tommy into his corner. Referee trying to separate them. Clean break right here from both men. Here comes Tommy right out of the gate with that nice Uranagi slam. Now getting Heath back on his feet here. Headlock on Heath. And Tommy delivers a big knee. The Irish whip being made. Going for something there, but not able to connect with it perfectly. Irish whip attempt by Heath, reversed by Tommy. Heath delivering a big elbow to the face and then a big belly to belly. Now Heath taking control, setting up Tommy on one knee. He's going to set up Tommy for a suplex, but no, Tommy fighting out of it. Here comes Tommy with another Uranagi slam. Now you see Tommy here trying to slow down the pace of this matchup, setting up for this shoulder claw, but Heath 
fighting it here, getting on his feet and breaking free for a couple strong punches. Headlock right here. Nice hip toss. Heath going up tippity top rope, looking to fly with the elbow drop. That's going to cause some breathing problems right there for Tommy. Heath just flew with his elbow directly on, on the chest of Tommy. Oh, look at that. Tommy trying to get something going for himself, but instead Heath shutting him down with that nice hip toss. Heath's going to hit the ropes, and he delivers a nice elbow drop. Now Heath, you can see going for the pinfall, only able to get one. Tommy able to kick out almost ASAP. Head scissors on Tommy, and Heath gonna deliver three nice elbow strikes. Now Tommy in a bad position here. Heath attacking Tommy with a submission, but Tommy Hart able to break free of it very quickly. Heath still in control with the Irish whip, sending Tommy into those into that corner. But Tommy coming back, delivering a forearm. I'm sorry, an elbow right to the face and then combining it with a quick and hard DDT. A nice rake of the back. And now the Irish whip being made, sending Heath into the corner and Tommy hitting him with that nice clothesline in the corner. Heath on Tommy's shoulders and Tommy's gonna hit him with the snake eyes. And here comes an alley-oop bomb. Of course, from a seated Heath Gold. And now you can see Tommy Hart going up top rope. He's looking to fly with the body splash. All of Tommy Hart's weight come crashing down on a prone Heath Gold. That's going to cause some real issues right there. Snapman right here by Tommy, but Heath Fighting back, elbow right to the face, running, neck breaker right there by the Golden Boy. Trying to get something going here, but Tommy able to reverse, turning it into a nice hip toss. Going for something here, Heath fighting back, European uppercut. Here comes Heath with a nice belly to belly. Heath's going to hit those ropes and deliver a nice elbow drop on a prone Tommy Hart. Now getting Tommy on his feet. On his shoulders, here comes Fireman's Carry Flapjack. Pinfall by the Golden Boy. One, only able to get one. Tommy able to kick out. This matchup does roll on. Heath Gold in the driver's seat here. You can see him just moving around here, stalking Tommy, maybe wondering what to do next. Nice knee to the back right there. Now, Tommy gonna go after the arm. I'm sorry, Heath gonna go after the arm of Tommy Hart right there. A quick attack to the arm. Tommy on Heath's shoulders, and Heath sets him down with a stun gun on those hard ropes. Here comes Tommy with a nice reversal. Shoulder block. Gonna go for something here, but Heath able to reverse very quickly with a face crusher. Big knee right to the gut right there by Heath, but Tommy's still in control. Tommy sending Heath into the corner and hits him with a nice clothesline. Nice leg drop right there by the heartbreaker. Here comes Tommy slamming Heath's face directly into the canvas. Tommy getting Heath on one knee. An overhand shot. Heath fighting back with a shot to the gut of Tommy. Now look, Tommy being got down to one knee and Heath taking a couple shots, a couple kicks to Tommy. Heath's going to take a minute and attack the leg of Tommy Hart. Next, going for the pinfall. Able to get two. Very close to a three, but not quite. Not yet. He's still on the assault here, using his elbow to attack the shoulder of the Heartbreaker. Irish whip. Reverse right there. 
Another Irish whip reversed by the Heartbreaker, sending Tommy to the outside of the ring on the apron. But the Heartbreaker is going to bring him back into the ring with that rope hung DDT. Single knee camel clutch right here, applied by the Heartbreaker. Tommy Hart not going to opt to get the rope break, going to opt instead to just escape it. Oh, look at this. Nice reversal right there by the, the golden boy. Sign it, set, flip. Not able to get the three count, though. Very close, though. Quick jab right there by the Heartbreaker. Headlock on Heath. And face buster. Now look at this. You can see the Heartbreaker setting up Heath. Look at going for something there. But so Heath able to reverse it. Delivering a big knee right to the gut. Going for something there. But Tommy able to reverse it as well. Going for a fireman's carry. Turned into a reverse DDT by the Heartbreaker. Now getting Heath on one knee, Heath's fighting back. Big punch right to the gut. Heath turning Tommy around real quick and there's the gold maker. Finishing move by the golden boy, the gold maker pinfall. That's two and that's three. And ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner gaining momentum, succeeding in that goal for the night, heading into his matchup in a few weeks at King of the Mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Golden Boy, your winner. This is Heath Gold. A really great matchup from both of these men. Heath coming out with that gold maker out of nowhere. Sealing the deal for this matchup. Gold maker was hit. The pinfall, it was one, it was two, and it ended with three. Making Heath Gold the winner of this matchup. Heath celebrating a well-earned victory here. But you know Justice is watching. You know Trevor Jericho is watching. One of them are going to have to face Heath Gold. And they're going to have to compete with the gold maker. They're going to have to compete with the golden boy. Now, moving on to our second match of the evening. It will be... Eddie Danger attempting to continue the role that he's been on tonight as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal one as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Peter Young. Let's, let's see which one of these two guys can come across victorious. The man leading the dangerous revolution or the phenomenal one. We're going to find out next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our second match of the evening. And as you see, here comes one member of the revolution. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you the leader of his own revolution, the dangerous revolution. Allow me to introduce to you Eddie Danger. Eddie Danger has been on one hell of a roll recently. And tonight we will see if that roll will continue. You gotta believe that Justice is looking at Eddie Danger, very proud of his friend here. You gotta believe the revolution is growing every single day with the help of this guy, with the help of Eddie Danger truly supporting and representing the revolution as of lately. Tonight we'll see one more time what the Dangerous Revolution can do as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Phenomenal One. And the lights have turned off here in Impact Pro Wrestling. And, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the Phenomenal One. Here comes Peter Young. Uh, it appears Peter Young looking quite, quite different than how we've seen him in the past. Normally Peter Young coming out here much cockier. 
that you can see him not wearing his normal bright colors, wearing black and gray. It looks like Peter Young has uh, under undergone a uh, some a physical change, I suppose. Not as flashy as we have seen Peter Young in the past. But we will see what happens inside this ring. That is Eddie Danger. That is Peter Young. Dangerous Revolution. Phenomenal one. About to go head to head. Nice arm drag right there from Eddie Danger starting off the matchup with that. Eddie taking it very quickly to the phenomenal one. Getting him on his feet. Couple of strikes being thrown here. And a very quick belly to belly. Now getting Peter on his feet for a moment before he slams him down with a reverse DDT. Going for a kick. Peter trying to fight back with something here, but he's not successful here. Now throwing some strikes, trying to get something going. Peter taking Eddie down quickly with a series of strikes, a snapmare, and then transitioning into the headlock, but Eddie getting out of the headlock. Peter with the Irish whip trying to fight back, not able to get off whatever he wanted to. Peter still fighting back. Peter, no pushover. Oh, look at this going for another strike, but Eddie not saying anything. Eddie about to introduce Peter to the danger zone. Pinfall, one, two, three. A quick matchup here, a quick victory for Eddie Danger. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I was talking about. This is the role that Eddie Danger has been on lately. It is dangerous. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we knew Eddie Danger was on a roll, but it looks like from his words, he is looking to evolve. He is looking to grow, and we'll see what he grows into in the future. All right, ladies and gentlemen, growing on to our third matchup of the evening, we will see the man of the hour and the Superman go head to head because Danny Myers is about to take on Jack Smith in our next matchup. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is time for our third matchup of the evening. The man of the hour, Jack Smith, coming down to the ring right now, is set to go head-to-head -head with the Superman, Danny Myers. Last week, we had a uh, verbal confrontation between Jack Smith and DJ Summers, which was uh, more of a one-sided conversation. DJ Summers walking off. We'll have to see in a moment what... Jack Smith is going to have to do about that. We do know for a fact that Jack Smith does want to say something, so let's hear what he has to say. Jack Smith, he's called out DJ Summers. He demands an answer. Will DJ Summers come out though? 
It looks like the answer is no. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion. This is Jack Smith's opponent for a night. This is the Superman. This is Danny Myers. A little bit of a disappointment here for Jack Smith. Now, of course, he did have a match tonight against this man, against the Superman. But, you know, as he just said, he wants DJ Summers. He wants an answer to his challenge. He has not gotten one yet. He was not received a yes nor a no. He was just, in his words, given disrespect. And I have to say I agree. DJ Summers had Jack Smith face to face. He could have said no or said yes. He chose to walk away. I have to agree with Jack Smith that he was shown disrespect. I'm not sure what DJ is thinking. Eventually, we will have to hear something from DJ Summers, something about what he thinks. But it appears that tonight, for right now at least, we are going to be focusing on our upcoming matchup. It will be this man right here, the Superman, Danny Myers. And it will be the man of the hour, Jack Smith. This is our third match, ladies and gentlemen. That's Jack Smith. That's Danny Myers. Referee will ring the bell, and this matchup has begun. Danny Myers fighting on a Jack Smith's grasp there with some hard elbow shots. Going for a slam, but Jack Smith able to reverse big knee right to the gut. Another big knee, and nice move right there. Overhead fame ass, or a great move right there by Jack. Now Jack dragging Danny into his corner, and he's going to slam the Superman's face right into the top turn buckle. Over and over again right there, ten times. Jack Smith quickly going for the pinfall center of the ring. Able to get one. It would get two, surprisingly. But Danny Myers able to kick out. Now Jack applying this head scissors. Danny able to escape. Now Danny gonna take control. Pump handle, back suplex. Overhand shot right there by Danny Myers. Going for an iron but Jack Smith able to reverse. Now sending Danny Myers all the way to the outside of the ring. Jack outside there with him now, going after Danny on the outside of the ring. Nice reversal right there by Danny Myers. Big clothesline reversal now taking the control that he needs to take. Getting Jack on his feet. Got Jack by the back of the neck here. And look at this Jack fighting out of it quickly. Strong elbows to the gut. Oh, look at that. Jack Smith sending Danny Myers crashing into the steel ring post. Getting him back onto his feet, throwing him into the ring. And this matchup will continue as it was supposed to inside the squared circle. Pinfall attempt by the man of the hour. Only able to get one. Jack Smith still in control, taking some shots at the shoulder of Danny Myers. Now going outside on the apron, going for a nice springboard body splash, but Danny Myers had it scouted, able to avoid it. Now taking the control with his neck breaker. Here comes a spinning complete shot by the Superman. Great move right there. This matchup continuing to go. Danny going to try to stop this matchup with the pinfall attempt. He's got one, but Jack Smith able to kick out. Great punch by, to the side of the head by Danny Myers. A kick avoided by Jack. A move reversed by Danny. Here comes Danny. Atomic drop. Oh look at that! He put on that uh, he put on that single arm lock cross face, but you can see Jack Smith's legs 
close to the ropes, able to hook the ropes for a little bit there. Submission was on for a moment, but not very long. Danny Meyer still in control here, however. Putting Jack Smith on his shoulders, and he's gonna put him down on the ropes, hitting them with the stun gun. Another pinfall by the Superman. Able to get two, but Jack Smith still able to kick out. Going for another big punch to the side of the head, but Jack Smith able to reverse and hits him immediately with a running clothesline, sending Danny to the mat. Now getting him on his feet quickly, Irish whip into the corner. Jack Smith setting up Danny Myers. Tippity top rope. Big European uppercut right here. What's going on here? Looks like Jack Smith's gonna fly with a top rope cutter. The late and great DDP would be proud at a move like that. The pinfall being made after that cover, but only a one count surprisingly. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't call him the Superman for nothing. That would be enough to put some men down for the three count, but only enough to put Danny down for the one. This matchup does roll on. Danny with a nice reversal, a nice arm drag. Now getting Jack up on his feet. Snap Mare. Big kick to the back. Getting Jack on his feet one more time. Here comes Fireman's Carry Neckbreaker. Now you can see Jack being attacked right here. Danny applying the shoulder claw. Pinfall right here by the Superman. Not able to win just yet. The Superman not successful just yet. Shoulder claw being applied once again. And once again doing the damage it needs to do. You can see Danny Myers gonna slam Jack Smith's face right into the canvas. A little bit of disrespect, not gonna win you any matches, but will do some damage. Now here comes another spinning complete shot by the Superman. And I think the Superman's done playing games. Cause ladies and gentlemen, here comes the finishing move. This is the Superman pun, nothing at all. Superman punch was attempted, but Jack Smith able to reverse it, block it. Going for something else there. These men continuing to wrestle. Nice big clothesline right there by the man of the hour. Jack doing some showbutting here to these fans, trying to get the fans on his side. A great knee to the back of the head right there. Jack in control, gonna set up Danny Myers for a running neck snap. Taking a shot at the leg of Danny Myers, this matchup does roll on, Jack Smith still in control here. Got him in there, oh he slams him back first, and it's a turnbuckle then, just throws him center of the ring. Pin four right here by the man of the hour, only able to get two, Danny Myers able to kick out. A nice kick to the back right there by the man of the hour. Going for a move, but Danny Myers able to reverse fireman's carry style. Getting Jack Smith on his feet, setting up against those ropes. Going for a clothesline, but Jack Smith able to reverse, sending Danny Myers all the way to the outside of the ring. Now Jack taunting Danny, he wants him on his feet. So he can fly with that nice forearm from the apron. Now look at this, Danny sending Jack into the ring, hitting him with the overhead shot to the chest and then the nice big boot to the side of the head. Here comes this fireman's carry neck breaker once again. But Jack Smith not stunned. Jack Smith going to continue to fight here, delivering the sling blade. Pinfall center of the ring after the sling blade. Is that going to be enough to win the matchup? No, it is not. Danny Myers able to kick out. This matchup does roll on. Jas Mick on the apron. Smith looking to fly, and he's going to. With a nice clothesline, not able to get all of it though, it looks like. A little bit of an accident there, but the matchup still going on. Jack Smith still able to keep the control here. Getting Danny Myers on his feet one more time. He's gonna send. Danny into the corner. 
And Danny's gonna get hit with snake eyes. Setting up Danny on those ropes and throwing Danny back center of the ring. Jack Smith going for move after move here. And there goes the implanted DDT. Going for the pinfall now. One, two, not three. All too close, but not three. Jack getting Danny on his feet. Overhead shot. Danny Myers on the shoulders of Jack Smith. And here come the electric chair driver. Pinfall attempt. One, two. Not three, ladies and gentlemen. Danny Myers able to kick out. Like I said, we don't call him the Superman. Just as a nickname, he really is indeed a Superman of Impact Pro Wrestling. Danny going for a clothesline, but Jack had it scouted. Rebound clothesline. A great move right there by the man of the hour. But now Jack Smith on his face. Danny Myers taking control, going for the pinfall quickly. He's got one, two. Jack Smith able to kick out, though. Big punch to the side of the head. And the shoulder claw being applied. Damage being done exactly as it was intended. And now Danny getting Jack on his feet one more time. Here comes another fireman's carry neck breaker. You gotta believe the neck of Jackson has gotta be just destroyed by now. He's taken three of those. The shoulder claw being applied once again, but not successful. Jack Smith's trying to fight it back on his feet. Two big punches being delivered. Irish whip reversed by Danny Myers. Sending him to the apron and then sending him all the way to the outside. Now Danny Myers showing off to these fans and these fans are loving it. These fans are really seeing right here why we call him the Superman and these fans are enjoying what the Superman brings to the table. Nice takedown and you can see Danny Myers throwing blows at Jack Smith. Here comes a pump handle back suplex from the Superman. Going for something there, but Danny able to reverse, turning it into a Russian leg sweep, getting Jack on his feet once again, sending him back into the ring. Getting Jack on his feet inside the ring. Here comes a great move right there. But Jack not done yet. Jack, nice reversal. Great lariat. A great reversal right there by Jack, trying to go for a quick pinball after that. Not successful, only able to get the two count. Nice kick to the back right there from the man of the hour. Snap mare on Danny. And Jack gonna try to slow down the pace of this matchup. He's got the knee on the back, pressure being applied. But Danny is not gonna be in that hole for too long. Cause he bust out of it very quickly. Setting Jack Smith down the pinfall, but Jack able to kick out. This right here is what we call in the business old school. This right here is what we call a slobber knocker, ladies and gentlemen. Danny Myers, the Superman, Jack Smith, the man of the hour going head to head. Really showing why they are some of the best we have on IPW. You gotta believe that DJ Summer is looking at this matchup, looking at Jack Smith, looking at Danny Myers. Both of these men have every inch of potential to be his next challenger. Danny in that corner. He's just waiting for Jack here. You know that there's got to be a time here. DJ is going to be challenged eventually. And I, I think if you're DJ, you got to hope it's not one of these guys because Jack Smith has shown resiliency and strength as has Danny Myers. Both of these guys will be a serious threat to the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Championship picture. Jack Smith, the one challenging currently, it's not going to look well for him if he loses here to the Superman, but it's going to mean everything to the Superman. 
We'll see which one of these two guys can overcome the other. Which one of these two guys can show more resiliency, more strength, more power, more everything. Danny taking control with a nice reversal right here. Here comes another fireman's carry neck breaker. A big kick to the back. Now getting Jack on his feet. Going for a slam. Jack able to reverse. Going for something there. Danny able to reverse. Backstabber. And it looks like that backstabber is going to set up the catalyst for the finishing move. We saw it earlier. It was reversed and blocked. But now, once again, Superman punch reversed and blocked. It didn't take one, it took two electric chair drivers, two pinfalls, one, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner in possibly the fight of his life. Jack Smith coming out of this matchup absolutely victorious. A great matchup here from the Superman and a great matchup here from Jack Smith but no matter what Danny could do the Superman punch wasn't able to be applied but the electric chair driver was the finishing move of Jack Smith Superman showed his Superman strength once when he kicked out of it but the second time that was enough to kill the Superman great matchup here from both men and Jack Smith earned his victory Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, the man of the hour, Jack Smith. Great victory here for Jack. Question is, DJ is still not out here. We don't even know if DJ's in the building. DJ's got, I've seen this, he's got watching this at home at the very least. He knows Jack wants him. Question is, when are we going to get the answer from DJ Summers? This championship match has to happen. The question is when. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we will have our main event of the evening. The wrestling revolutionist will go one on one with the first generation wrestler. This is the match that will determine who will go up against Heath Gold at King of the Mountain in the finals. Heath Gold is finalist number one. It's time for us to figure out who will be finalist number two. Will it be the wrestling revolutionist or will it be the first generation wrestler? Will it be Justice or will it be Trevor Jericho? Those questions will be answered in the match coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is time for our main event of the evening. This match is to determine who will face Heath Gold at our next pay-per-view, King of the Mountain. This match is to determine who will face Heath Gold, who will be in that championship match for the end of the tournament. Of course, that matchup at the end of the tournament to decide our King of the Mountain champion. Here we have a man that we all know very well. He's in the ring right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the wrestling revolutionist. This man leads the revolution. This man, he is simply known as Justice. This is going to be a big match for both of these, both of these top quality wrestlers. We have Justice here. Now we've seen him put in a million different types of work here in Impact Pro Wrestling. And we've seen Trevor Jericho put in a lot as well. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. His opponent, as I just said, this is Trevor Jericho. This is the first generation wrestler. A big matchup here for both of these guys. It's a little bit ironic these guys are going to be going head to head so soon. Trevor Jericho was brought back into Impact Pro Wrestling 
by Justice, so to speak. Justice had called up Trevor Jericho and he brought him to IPW to help him take down Beast Henry Long and Christopher Bishop at Warzone. And now, a short time later, they'll be going head to head for an opportunity at Championship Gold. It's just the way it works here at Impact Pro Wrestling. Works his way in the wrestling business, so to speak. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's the first generation wrestler. That is the wrestling revolutionist. Justice and Jericho are about to go head to head. Jericho starting off quickly. Nice move right there. Immediately going for a big move. Jericho not here to play games as he delivers the knee drop right on the face of Justice. Here we got a headlock. And Justice taking that full European uppercut. Fireman's carry cutter. Looks like Jericho not going to start off this match slowly with any chain or wrestling or striking. He's going to go for moves ASAP. Nice swinging neck breaker. Justice got to find a way to combat this. As he does right here with the Irish whip reversal. Big kick right to the gut. Oh, and you can see Justice just washing his boot on Jericho's face. A great running boot right there from the wrestling revolutionist. Trying to get Jericho up, but Jericho, nice reversal. Getting Justice on his feet. Here comes Jericho with that nice move. Pinfall attempt right here. Center of the ring, only able to get one. Spring Lord, crossbody to the back of the wrestling revolutionist. Nice reversal right there by Justice. Attack of the Yum trying to get Jericho up, but Jericho fighting back with a big punch right to the gut. Going for something here. Arm wrench and then a kick right to the gut, dropping Justice to one knee. Now getting Justice up. Here comes the Snake Eyes. Great move right there from the first generation wrestler. Now, first generation wrestler delivering some hard, quick elbow drops right on the chest. Pinfall. Justice able to kick out almost ASAP. Jericho delivering an elbow drop. Gotta say right here, this is something we haven't seen from Jericho really taking over, really dominating here. But Justice still trying to fight back as he delivers a big punch to the gut. Big kick to the gut. Headlock here. Big knee right to the face. Justice trying to find something going here. He may find it as he delivers a fisherman suplex. Now the wrestling revolutionist showing he ain't no pushover. He's coming back of some stuff. Oh, but Jericho on his feet quickly. Able to deliver a running knee to the face. The Irish whip. Looks like Justice is going for a clothesline. Couldn't connect the fall of it. Going for something here, Jericho was. But Justice able to reverse. Turning that into a nice gut wrench suplex. Jericho trying to climb up to his feet, but Justice stopping him. Got him up, and then he shuts him down with that nice neck breaker. Pinfall attempt from the Wrestling Revolutionist. Not even a two count. Only able to get the one, but the matchup does continue. Justice trying to go for something, but Jericho able to reverse. Face Crusher. Not able to take control, though, as Justice sends him to the outside of the ring, but brings him back in with this rope hung DDT. Here comes Justice with a nice elbow drop. And he follows it up with another elbow drop. And he follows it up with a third elbow drop. Justice finding his rhythm here going up second. Rope able to deliver a huge knee drop. Pinfall after that knee drop. Only able to get one. Jericho still in this matchup. 
big knee right to the back by Justice. Going for something here. Jericho able to reverse. Double leg takedown. A quick pinball attempt by the first generation wrestler. Not successful. But Jericho with a nice elbow to the top of the head. Jericho going up second rope. He's looking to fly with the leg drop. Now Jericho getting justice on his feet. And here comes a great backflip head driver. Or backflip snapmare driver, I guess we could call it. Great move right there from the first generation wrestler. Justice fighting back. Nice double leg takedown, dropping Jericho to the mat. Pinfall attempt right here. Unsuccessful. Only able to get the one count. Jericho still kicking out. A knee to the back was attempted, but Jericho able to dodge it. Putting him on his shoulders, but Jericho once again able to dodge. Carrying that into a nice reverse DDT. Justice on the mat. Jericho looking down. You know, he's thinking about something here. He's thinking about a big move. He's thinking about something to hit Justice with. And I think we know what he is thinking about. Jericho still in that corner. Justice on his feet. Now Jericho going to go axe. Delivering the backbreaker. Big knee right to the back. Pinfall attempt. Justice able to kick out though. ASAP. Backbreaker not enough to end this matchup. Once again, Jericho looking down. Now getting Justice on his feet. Here we see Fireman's Carry Cutter. Fireman's Carry Cutter going to quickly lead into the finishing move. Jericho's ready. Jericho's aiming. This is the first generation kick. Pinfall by Trevor Jericho. One, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, the main event for King of the Mountain has been confirmed. It will be the Golden Boy. He's gold going one on one with the first generation wrestler, Trevor Jericho. Justice and Jericho really proving themselves here in this matchup. A great matchup by both of these men. It was Jericho early on, then Justice really brought it back. He was not going to be pushed over by Jericho. He put on one hell of a show. But in the end, the first generation wrestler just had enough to beat the revolution tonight. Congratulations for this victory right here. The first generation wrestler coming across victorious. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you all watching IPW. We hope to see you next week for our next episode. And until then, good night and good luck.